how would you describe your sound if someone's never heard your music before? Well, you know, I would call it country rock, you know. Um, I guess you or the correct title would be Roots, a um, little bit of country, a little bit of rock, a little bit of folk. Um, just, you know, kind of that classic sound, that classic Canadiana sound. You know, you're no stranger to uh, country music. I mean, you've been in the industry for like 12, 13 years. You're also being billed as the one to watch. Well, <laughs> it, it, it's it's strange, you know. Yeah, I've been doing this a long time. I've been, you know, fighting through it and wrestling down gigs all over, you know, Canada. And and now it's uh, now things are picking up a little bit of steam. And that's really all you can ask for, right? Like, that's what you need to have happen. And, and I'm just thankful that I get the chance to play in front of people and and then you know, hopefully they can like the tunes. Uh, J.J. Shiplett joining us uh, this afternoon. J.J., how did you get started out in in music, and, and was it always in your blood? Yeah, I come from a pretty musical family. My uh, my father was a guitar player and, and a singer, and my, my mom played a little piano, and I had an uncle who was part of a country band my whole my whole uh, teen years. So it was it was in our blood. My parents uh, were always big uh, proponents for music in our household. And, and then I just I started right when I was in high school, and you know, and then it kind of just the, the love for it went from there. I started uh, playing gigs, and... The rest, they say, is history for me. <laughs> when it comes to songwriting, what makes a good song? Uh, you know, there's there's so many different different parts that, that go into songwriting, you know, and, and um, you know, I, I think it all depends on who you ask. For me, I'm a lyric guy. I really love a good lyric, and I love a good melody. And uh, so I, I, I like to put a little bit of emphasis on trying to find the best melodies I can and, and try and have the best lyrics that I that I can write. Um, but, you, you know, that other times you hear a song with a, with a crazy good groove and and that catches your attention. So there's so many different parts, but I mean, a good song is a good song if you like it, right? You know, something to believe and draw back in January. I had that album cranked up in my car. Such a soulful collection of songs. What was that process behind that album and when you heard the final cuts? Well, I've, I've been writing that album for a few years. Um, and uh, when, it finally, when it finally came time to record it and, and doing it, it, uh, it happened over, over about a year and a half, pro, uh, year and a half time frame. And, and Mainly it was just because we were just, I, I was recording part of it in Nashville and I recorded part of it in Calgary. And uh, so it was kind of going back and forth and just listening to ideas and and processing them. So I kind of took my time, but uh, it was it was good to finally get it out in January, in January 27th there. It was good to get it out there and kind of give everybody a chance to like it. I know you're out uh, somewhere playing some pickup hockey right now. Are you a big hockey fan? Yeah, big big hockey fan. I'm, I'm out behind Banff Springs here. Playing, uh, playing some pickups, pick up with some buddies. Who's your team? Oh, I'm a Leaf fan. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I know, a lot, I know a lot of people get on me for that, but at least now I, I can have some pride in being a Leaf fan. <laughs> uh, darling, let's go out tonight. Uh, we love this song. Uh, tell us all about it and what it means uh, to you. You know, this, this is Don't Let's Go Tonight. One of those tunes. It's like a, um, you know, when I wrote it, I was listening to a ton of Springsteen, and now I still do listen to a lot of Springsteen. But um, it, it sort of tells a story of two people that. Uh, you know, I've been in love and and have had a have had a life together, but maybe things have gone a little gray, a little stale, and and they're trying to fight their way back into it. And that's what, you know, and they go out into town, they go out with a little whiskey, a little wine, and they dance the night away. Hey JJ, thanks so much for doing this, and get back to your hockey game. Hey, thank you so much for having me on there. Uh, thanks for spinning, darling. Let's go tonight.